today uh, we'll do a, a scene in three acts. In theater, we used to, to act in five acts, but we don't have enough time. So let's jump on the stage uh, because we, we will talk a, a lot about theater. You will understand why. It's linked to the assumption that work is theater. Let's begin. What, are the com what is the common characteristic between these brands? This famous uh, luxury hotel uh, chain, this, I don't know if you, you know build -A bear uh, it's an, an American uh, teddy bear building company uh, wh which is loved by children and loved by parents. I will explain to you why. And then this one, I don't present it, this, uh, this well-known uh, coffee, uh, coffee maker. What, are, what is the common characteristic? This man. You'll understand why. Because he is the co-author of that book. Who has already read that book? You? Yeah, one. <laughs> Thank you. This book uh, is linked to the economy experience. What does it mean? It means that today we are at the fourth level of the economics vision. The first one was linked to the commodity. Commodity is very uh, easy to copy, easy to find, because it's linked with the nature. If we, we take back the example of Starbucks, it's the coffee beans. It's easy to find. It's not expensive. Then we jump in, into the product economy. This is more standardized, and it becomes to be something tangible. We are able to, to use it, to manipulate, to interact with it. Then, next level, we'll arrive at the service economy. We use, as a UX designer, work into the services. This is customized, but this is also intangible. And we like, I don't know here, but in France, I like to explain to my clients that we will help them to go through the invisible to the tangible, through the services. This you know. Here, as a UX designer, we are experienced in your, in your jobs, terms, titles. This is regarding the economic view, something that's really personal. But uh, we, we also work on the, 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 the emotion impact of the, the experience we wanted to create. So this becomes memorable. The fifth vision of the economic, it's not totally implemented yet because it's based on the transformation. Transformation for individuals is very intimate. It's very linked to what we live, what we experience. So we're not able yet to really uh, impact on that. But it will be the next the next level. The action around that, first we extract, then we make, then we, we deliver, then we stage, and finally we guide people through the, the experience. Before go going further, I just want to, to, do, uh, to, to offer you some details about the conception of work as theater. Okay, when you say Vijay Samantha in this movie, there are literally acting, that's their, their roles, okay? But in the life, theater is not a metaphor. The, the author insists on that because we always are acting. When we will be during the break taking coffee with colleagues, we are acting. The, the, the waiter that are working here are also acting. And now, in front of you, I'm acting too. So, just accept that the experience economy is based on theater, but not as a metaphor, but as a real view of what we have to do and how we have to act in your work as UX designer. Then, I propose you to, to go further on the, the stage vision that Pine and Gilmore try to, to give. From the theater view, 
we have some cycles. The first one is linked to drama. Drama in Greek means just to do. It's very simple. What we want to do. You'll see how we can switch for, with, with our, our work. Then we have the script. Or we can deliver what we want to do. Then you have the theater itself, because we have to be able to have a stage to do that. And we have the performance, the way you deliver the experience. Let's jump uh, into the, the real world, our world, in the agencies, but also in your clients. Then we can link drama with strategy. We all knew that. We can link process with script. We need to write something in order to be able to understand in all the, the, the stakeholders. Then you have the work as theater. And you have, finally, the offering. The offering linked to performance. But you can see that one, the bigger cycle, is empty now. Because as the experience economy uh, needs for, we need an audience. OK? So if we come back to the, the three examples I showed to you uh, at the beginning, we can just see that for the risk atom, what did they do in regarding the experience economy? It's just one quick example, because they have done many or many other stuff. They have decided to merge and to open all the databases linked to the customers all around the world. The name was Mystica. This vision, um, I just check the time because it's very short. Um, this vision helps the customer, the guests, to be at every time, at every, every places, and in a Ritz Carlton hotel, able to be welcome with all what you wish, what you want. Uh, if you have troubles or allergies, they know this before you arrived. Before it was cut in, silo, in silos, now it's totally open. Another example with Build a Bear. So it's workshop for kids, but the, the vision of the, the economy experience, they bring all the audience at the workshop. So the parents are there. They are just beyond, and they help children to create their teddy bear with different kind of, of shapes. You can choose the, the, the thick fur, uh, the, the foam. You can choose the, the color of the eyes. Uh, you can choose the, the, the clothes. And interesting fact for the, the kids, you can also choose a heart that you will put inside the bear before finishing it. And in, with the digital vision, you can also add a song. So if you want to put a song or to put some words, uh, from your mom, it's possible for the kids. And then, this is very efficient to engage uh, the, the audience. This, I, I won't uh, talk a lot about that, because you all have, I hope you have all experiences, what you can feel and live in, in the Starbucks. There is a path. You know that it's, it will be really individualist, because they ask for your name, and you have this journey in, inside the, the, the bar. This is linked to the economy, because who could imagine 10 years ago that a coffee could be cost 300 uh, rupees nowadays, or four, four euros? It's, it's crazy to think about that when you look at the community's price. So economic experience is linked also to the financial vision. So if you want to perform the act together efficiently, I propose you to go a little bit further. What do we need to, to promote the, the experience economy on the stage? First, we need a crew. The casting is very important for us as UX designer, but also for, for clients, because we have big roles. You'll see that what you, we have in theater or in, 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 the, in the movie, we always have directors. We need someone uh, that guide people, who guide people. 
we have this, the drummeters. It's all linked with the strategic view. If with no strategic, you go nowhere. Then you have the script writers. You have to, to offer a vision more uh, applicative to, to what you are thinking about. Then you have the technicians. It's not very good to, to learn, to, to, to hear about that, but we are kind of technicians. But it's more linked to the backstage view if we, we think about theater. And you have the stage crews. Stage crews that all of you who are experiencing uh, workshops with, uh, with your clients or performing tests uh, for usability, for example. And again, the audience is also part of the recruitment. When you work on personas, you are working on the audience. When you recruit you, your testers, it's also the audience. So just to be uh, clear about that, uh, it's Erwin Goffman, which is, uh, who is um, a famous sociologist. Uh, he said that all human activity is acted whether rehearsed or not. So we can admit that everything is theater. So all act, act liked at theater at work. There is a list, a to-do list, um, I can offer to you. First, always imagine that you can do as if, even if you're not an actor, you can do and say, okay, today I'm here in front of you, I don't use to, to, to speak uh, uh, over uh, an Indian community, okay, as if, I'll do it. So it's, it's the, a statement that will help you to deliver a, a good, vision. Then the thing here is very, are very important. The way you will act, you will present, you will enter uh, a scene, for example, uh, by your clients when you have a, a, a meeting. The way you will wear. UPS, the famous delivery uh, organization, they have the brown, uh, the brown uh, clothes. They have also uh, the, the, the brown cars. It's easy to, to recognize, and it's links to the economic experience. So take care also about all the details, the details with the props. For example, uh, it's better to, to think about what you will need uh, during a presentation, for example. If I was always obliged to go there to change my slides, it's not so good if your audience, for example, is there, okay? Always think about what they will feel and what, what you will face during the, the walk. Then, we are quite short, uh, near to finish. I would, just would like to present some takeaways uh, around this new vision for your customers, but also for you and for us as designers. First, we have to thin your experience. I talk, talk about UPS. UPS theme all the experience. Uh, Walt Disney also, when you go to the park, everything is themed. And people are able to pay a lot of money and wait may, sometimes more than half an hour, an hour to, to, to practice an activity just because the theme makes sense for the people and they are able to engage really with that. So, we can consider that as pain points, but people go go away, go ahead with that. So forget marketing. Sorry if there is marketers here. Forget marketing. Experience will lead all the rest of that. Think global. Think touch points. Think context and ecosystem. So the global vision. We are not always digital. It's very important to think what is outside the digital vision. Remove all your audience sacrifice. What is the audience sacrifice? You take what a user wants minus what is setters for. You have all experienced horrible uh, um, encounters on digital 
interfaces or in the real life when you say, whoa, the, the service is, seems to be good, I paid for something, and I face horrible uh, uh, points that makes me say, I do a sacrifice. I need to use, uh, for example, a website, but it's so uh, unusable. I, I don't like that, but I'm, I'm obliged to. So if you can do that as UX designer, it's, it's better. Then, be very careful with the commoditization of experiences. Because when we use to practice and to experience different things, there is something called in, uh, in psychology, uh, which is called habituation. It's the way the, the signal uh, your, your brain sent to you after several encounters of uh, something very emotional, the level decreases. So when you work on, work on experience, you need to think about that and to be sure that with the market, mass market adoption, you will be able to find another way to speak to people and to engage them through the economic experience. Just uh, now, it's very uh, a, a quick presentation because the book uh, is, is very dense, uh, it's very intense, there is a lot of things inside, uh, but just I would like to, to share with you this view because I think as UX designer, uh, we, we cannot just focus on the tools, uh, on the methodologies, and we have to be open-minded uh, about that and what we are able to create uh, to help people to be, uh, to be more uh, engaged, more uh, effective with, with uh, what we are creating, what we are designing. So I hope you are ready to, to play and to, to open, to do let's the, the show must go on. Thanks a lot. In Lyon, in France, it's a very nice uh, city in France. Uh, in February, we have a big event organized by AXDA. Uh, it's a one week. Uh, events, so if you are interested, you can look at the, the program. It's not totally open, uh, the, the unveiled now, but uh, we are, you have Alan Cooper as a keynote speaker who will come and uh, a lot of other, so don't hesitate to, to check and I hope you will be able to, to see there. Thank you very much.